Hi guys, it's Riley. And today I am back with another Regress With Me video. I'm so excited. This is the first time I am regressing in like, I want to say a month, a month and a half. It's been a long time. But it feels good and it feels fun. And there's a witchy activity that I think is also a small activity and it's something I have been wanting to do. And now that the dandelions are growing, I can do it. So I've got my newest witchy passy. It says witchy lad and that was put on there by a very special human. And then the set, it's got a little book of shadows. And the center says, We are the Weirdos, Mister, which is from one of my favorite movies ever, The Craft. So what we're going to do today is we're going to travel to the outdoors. Because it's nice to get some sunshine and fresh air, especially in these quarantine days. We're going to go outside and we're gonna make a flower crown. I looked up a tutorial online the other day and I think I know how to do it. So I don't think I gotta look one up again. But I'm gonna try to also add some wild violets into the dandelions to make a wild violet and dandelion crown. And I gotta pick out which stuffy I'm gonna bring out there with me because whichever stuffy it is, I'm gonna make them a crown too. I think I'm going to take Cinnamon, Mr. Mr. Cinnamon. He is from Lil Sprout Care. I love them. I did a review video on them if you want to see that. I love him. But if I post a picture of him with his flower crown on, they'll probably retweet it on Twitter. So Cinnamon's gonna go outside with us. And I got this really cute basket for picking flowers specifically for witchy picking flowers and for baby picking flowers because I could not find another good basket and this is the only good basket I could find and it's got pretty colors. Let's get going. So as you can see when we come out of the apartment building there's loads and loads of wild violets by this tree. They're all so pretty. Look at them. Oh, I love them. I would pick some for witchy stuff, but last year I picked a bunch and I still have a bunch, so. I am going to pick up some violet, and then I'm gonna go around here, maybe back there, and pick some dandelions to make the crown. So while I was picking the flowers, I realized that I forgot to bring cinnamon out here, but that's okay, because I'll just make the crown and surprise him with it. I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit rough. There is a little bit of wind today, but I think I got enough to make my crown and cinnamon's crown. So I guess I'll show you guys how to do this too. With your nail or scissors or toothpick or whatever you got, make a little hole in the stem of the dandelion where you can poke another dandelion stem through it and then it'll look like that. And then you do it the same to the one you just put through that. And you keep going around until you've got a flower crown. So that's basically how you do it. But I'm gonna be a little bit more fancy and add in some, some wild violets as well. Because I think it's fun. You can rip off any excess flower that you got. That's what I read at least. So I'm just going to keep taking these and popping them through. See, that's hard. This is already looking so good. I, I can't believe I've never done this before. It looks so easy. 
but I just never done it. For why? I don't know. Either way, I think this is a really fun activity if you live somewhere that has dandelions grow. I'm sure you could do it with other flowers. You definitely couldn't do it with just wild violets because they're super duper tiny. It's super easy to poke holes in the dandelion stem. I really didn't think it would be as easy as this. Pull that through, making a chain. I am probably gonna fast forward some of this because this is a really repetitive motion but I will talk to you a little bit still. I'm definitely feeling better than what I was feeling and if you follow me you would know that I haven't really been super active on Instagram or on Twitter. I've been going through a real hard time mentally. I talked about that in a video I posted last week. If you didn't see that, it was the why I've been gone video and I kind of go more into depth. But I can say I am feeling what feels like a trillion times better than what I was feeling which is really, is really nice, honestly. Feeling crummy sucks, and I was in a real bad place. But I'm slowly getting, like, you know, I'm slowly getting back into things. This is looking really cute so far. I'm really proud of it. Like today, I've done almost everything on my to-do list. After, after filming this video, I believe the only other things I got on my to-do list are to read for 20 minutes and also do some yoga. I'm just gonna do a real simple, real basic yoga routine. But that's the plan. And then everything else I already got done. So yay, go me, that's really exciting. I'll catch up with you guys after I add a couple more to here. So I'm about halfway done with it. I really love it and I love the way it looks with the violets in it. I think that's really fun. That was really smart of me. The tutorial I saw didn't say anything about adding other flowers to it. It was just a simple how to make a dandelion chain to make a flower crown. I don't know. I'm pretty... I'm pretty proud of it. I like it a lot. I think it looks really, really good. And I'm just gonna keep going. I might have to go get more violets. I think I underestimated it. I didn't know if I was gonna wanna put a, one with every dandelion, but that's what I've been doing, and I think that looks the best. Or maybe I'll just do it in the front half and then the back half, or I'll just do it until I run out of dandelions, probably. Or until I run out of violets, and then we'll see where it goes from there. It's really easy to make a hole in a dandelion stem, guys. If you live somewhere that has dandelions, you should really go try and make this, because it's super easy, it's super fun. If my explanation wasn't enough for you, you can just Google how to make a dandelion crown, and some results should pop up. But you know what, I might even leave a link to a tutorial on how to make these down in the description. That way you guys don't even have to go to Google, it's just right there for you. 
it is a little difficult to get the big dandelion, bigger dandelions into the smaller dandelion stems. But other than that, and even then it still doesn't take very long to get them in. And I haven't had issues with any breaking yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like. Oh, I love it so much. It's literally perfect. I love it. This is very fun. I'm having a good time. This video was also super duper unplanned. I knew I was going to film one today, but I wasn't planning on filming uh, Regress With Me. But then I looked at the weather and it said it was going to be real nice. And I knew I was going to want to spend some time outside. And I kind of wanted to make one of these flower crowns on Beltane, which was on May 1st. But due to some stuff that came up, I wasn't able to. My battery's dying, oh no. I've got it this long though. So I might end the video here. I'll do the outro when I get inside, fasten this up, and show you guys the results. Hi, hi, so we're back inside. I changed the batteries in my camera. I really wanted this whole video to be outside, but I really don't feel like going back outside, you know? But my flower crown is done and I can put it on. Oh no, why does it do that? But this is my flower crown. It's a little bit small because I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. And Jinx is here to say hi. Should I make Jinx a flower crown? You want a flower crown, Bob? Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you, pretty kitty. But now I got cinnamon and I'm gonna make him a crown. So I brought in some more dandelions and I picked up some more violets too. Looks like Jinxie wants to help make flower crown. Jinxie, do you wanna make a flower crown? I wanna make a flower crown. But guess what? I am making a flower crown. It's super fun. I'm trying to pick out the good flower, the good flowers out of the remaining flowers to use. I don't want to use bad flowers. What are you doing, Bugga? This is what I live with. This is what he does all the time, all the time. I feel pretty proud of myself because earlier today I did some laundry. I edited and posted a video. Well, I don't know if it's up yet. I don't know what time it is. It's not up yet. It'll go up in 15 minutes. I edited that and scheduled it to upload. And I worked in my manifest book for a little while. And I meditated because I really like meditating. It's really good for you and good things can happen when you meditate. So I highly recommend meditation. Trying meditation. Meditation is very fun. Jinxie, get out of my basket. Get. He's in the basket like a dum-dum. Jinxie, get out of my basket. <laughs> You're in my basket. What you do? I think it'll be a little bit easier to make Cinnamon's crown than mine. It'll go a little bit faster because his head is obviously smaller. So there's the front of his crown. So I'd say probably eight more. I have a feeling his smaller crown is gonna look better than my bigger crown. I also just now realized that I'm forgetting to put the violets in his crown. So I guess he doesn't get violets in his crown. That's okay. I can have the more feminine crown and he can have the more masculine crown. Because I am comfortable in my gender. 
or maybe it'll be even less than 80. A couple more and his will be done. I'm excited. And then we're gonna take a picture for Instagram with our dandelion flower crown. Sorry, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder because I really like the dandelion. Alright, I think this is the last flower. And his crown is done. Here we go. We both got the flower crown. This was super duper fun. I will definitely be making more of these dandelion flower crowns throughout the spring and summer. I really enjoyed doing it. And I also really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a really, really fun time filming it. If you'd like to see more content all about age regression from me, you can be sure to subscribe to this channel because I post over here a couple of times a week. But if you would like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. Also, if you feel so inclined, I have a Ko-Fi linked in the description where you can send me a tip for just the price of a coffee if you really enjoy my content. And all those tips really go to help me paying bills and just living life. And I appreciate every single one of them. I love you guys a whole heckin' lot and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.